What is up everyone, my name's Al from Games Room and today we're going to be talking about Evangelion or Neon Genesis Evangelion. It is basically a sequel to a, it's a, it's a Sega Dreamcast typing game, but Derek Pascalera has worked his magic again and he's gone and done an English fan, or we don't call it a fan translation, it's just an English translation. Now I obviously knew about this because this was featured on the Shiro website and it might have even been featured on the Shiro uh, podcast. If you don't already, please do make sure to go and follow them because they do some really decent work for the Sega community. Um, so yeah, this is it. It's, it, it really is. You know, at the end of the day, you're either going to be a hater of typing games or you're going to absolutely love them. I think they're absolutely fantastic. Like I said, we're seeing more and more come out now or more and more Japanese titles getting translated into English, which opens up the door to an even bigger catalogue of really decent Dreamcast and Saturn titles. Now, obviously, Derek is the one who seems to be doing quite a lot of them, but there are other people working on this as well, or working on different games as well, so there's a lot coming, and I thought, let's check this out, because it is Evangelion at the end of the day, so it's pretty cool anyway, so let's check it out. So there you can see right off the bat, English translation developed by Derek Pascalera. Like I said, he's the man at the moment who's really doing a lot for the uh, sort of Saturn and Dreamcast community here for a lot of English translations. And here it is. It's a typing project advance, Neon Genesis Evangelion. You'll probably not realize how many times I've said that over and over and over again until I got that right. That's right. So here it is looking absolutely fantastic. And here it is, put your name in to do your data select, or basically, it's kind of doing a, a save file, essentially, so it gets you off in good stead, because, you know, this game, you know, it's not massively hard, but it's one that, you know, really is pretty decent and a good way to get your typing skills there, because, let's face it, kids love to learn in a really cool way, and to be fair, you don't even have to be a kid to enjoy this, because it really is... It's really good, because it has the characters from the Evangelion franchise, which is really really cool now you got six different levels or lessons let's call them to get your to get to grips with which give you little aims and you know it gives you a point system etc so it really is still a fun game that integrates the sega dreamcast Now you'll probably notice that, yeah, the voiceover is still done in Japanese, which I think is actually better that way, because you've got the original audio. And then the text is translated into English, so we can all still read it at the same time. It's also hearing it, so I think that's really cool. And I like the way Derek's done that, because it just it makes the game playable with the authenticity of it still carrying over the voiceovers from the Japanese version. So yeah, basically, like I said, it's a load of mini games where you basically have a timer. The kind of little red bit goes across. That's your time on the text there, and you've got to type it out below. That's that's basically the aim of the entire game. Now it does obviously also give you the countdown as you're going on this level. It doesn't do that on all levels. This is kind of lesson one to get you kind of you know used to what you're actually doing here and as you can see is the bar on the right hand side to show how you're also progressing as well so yeah really really decent level one let's move on to level two well let's cut it no it's lesson two not level two and this is it lesson two is essentially you're being swarmed by the enemy and you've got a type to basically punch, kick, whatever, which I think is another cool thing, because like I said, this really is about getting people to learn to type and to basically enjoy typing, because some kids, when they're growing up, they just don't really get it straight away. I mean, nowadays, maybe they do, but remember back then, this was sort of 1999-2000, when typing, or computers at least, weren't necessarily as popular as they are now where you kind of bought up to type, whereas back then you had to make it cool, you had to make it interesting 
and very very cool because you are beating up enemies whilst typing which is great now it wouldn't be a japanese title if we didn't have a love story here or some sort of let's face it we have girlfriend simulators or dating simulators in japan and hey this kind of uh, did have it as well and basically what you're trying to do here is win the love and affection of that beautiful woman on the screen that's right you've basically got to i'm gonna say arouse her because that just sounds really really bad but to make her basically fall in love with you by getting to different points and eventually she does end up falling for you yeah so really really cool nice mini game in this and you know maybe this wasn't really done for kids at that point but hey let's face it these typing sims really are for kids but hey really really cool and i do really like this and here we go, another stereotype of Japan. <laughs> you know, I kind of get it, and it does make it really cool and really kind of authentic. Yeah, that's right, we've got some karaoke. Yeah, music playing, and you've basically, as you would know, you have the countdown, and then you've got the lettering going along, and, you know, this is really all this game is. It's kind of just make sure you type within the time. It does get harder, though. It really, really does, and each like game type for example karaoke here has three levels of difficulty to it per time so you know great and it really does get those who aren't necessarily quick at typing to get quicker and it does get harder so that you know is great and i i absolutely love it for that now some of you you kind of may be interested to know is it does kind of it doesn't have an online element but it could quite easily be resolved because really all it is is rankings it's a scoreboard and as you can see right now it does actually dial out and does connect it's just when it gets to the point where it needs to go further i.e actually just display a web page that does actually give you the 404 error which basically just means it doesn't exist but let's face it all that really is is directing you to a web page which could quite easily be remedied Nowadays, you know, so many people are working on rankings pages, etc., for different Dreamcast games, so this could also happen quite easily, and I'll be surprised if that doesn't happen at some point now that this is available. If I really had to sum this up, this is essentially a load of mini games. This is just mini games at the end of the day, and you've got a type that is your controller, so it adds an element of kind of it doesn't make it easy, it does make it hard, and I like that because it does get harder the further you go, and it does it at a nice pace. It doesn't kind of throw you straight into it, it's just a nice pace and a nice build up, which you know is great for confidence, especially for typers. Because if you're not a quick typer at first, you're not going to be great. You may fail a few times, but this will get you going because it does, you know, with these mini games, it does get you to want to progress, if that makes sense. So the quicker you do type, you know, obviously the better result you'll get and a better score you'll get. But yeah, along the way, with some Evangelion characters, you know, fantastic, great soundtrack. I love this, and I'm so thankful for, for Derek for doing this and getting this one across the line, because it is fantastic. So if you haven't already, do go and grab a copy. The link is in the description box below. Love it. Absolutely love this. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you all soon. You can now support the channel on patreon.com forward slash gamesrip, as well as remember to like, comment, and subscribe.